Welcome to Real Kiwi Fishing. This week Steve-O and I are up north and uh, what we've decided to do today is launch the Kontiki. So this is the first time we've um, brought the Kontiki up north here. Normally obviously in the boat or just surf casting. But um, old Steve-O he's bought a electric Kontiki. Uh, he lives down in Tauranga so he going to start using it down there and we thought hey might as well uh, bring it away with us up north so we'll um, have a shot with that It'll be our first time and hopefully we'll um, get into a few fish so we're um, sort of learning used to do it when I was younger with the old man uh, with the con tiki bag so um, Steve's gone electric doesn't want to sort of wrap the line around his body and stuff and too hard. So. Yeah, so we'll uh, have a shot with the Kontiki today. As you can see, there's a bit of swell uh, running. It just uh, we've had that cyclone come through. We got about um, two to three foot with some four foot uh, sets coming in. So we'll um, do a couple of sets today. We'll have a shot. So we'll take a look at um, Kontiki here while Steve um, sets up. Steve is just cutting up the bait, getting the bait ready. So what you can do, um, I know some of the guys, they um, get the bait ready the night before. They cut it into um, square bits like steve -O's doing. Chuck it in a um, ice cream container and then in the fridge and then that's all done for you. So um, yeah, it's one thing that some of the guys do. And there's no, not much difference from the old school. When I used to do it with the old man, um, we used to do the same, use squid, squid and mullet. We've got a mullet there we might do on the second, second um, set. But uh, here's a big swell rolling in. Look at that. I think we should have bought the uh, long boards and boogie boards instead. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have a shot and we'll see what happens. Um, it's nice and cloudy and it's and it's all stirred up obviously because of the, the swell coming in and we've had the um, cyclone come through. So that's stirred everything up in close. And you've got sort of that dark patch probably about, about 400 metres out. So it's just stirring everything up and hopefully all the um, cockles and all that stirred up the fish coming in for so you never know it might be quite good. So Steve-O's just baiting up. Sets are still cranking in. So he's got the um, the seahorse there, it's a GPS model. And what that obviously does is sets it 
it at a certain angle depending on what way the current's going and all that kind of jazz and it keeps it in that line so it's quite cool those um, GPS ones Ready to go, bait it up, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Hope we get into um, some fish. It's probably coming up to about 11 o'clock, so it's a little bit late in the morning. We've just done the first set, got 20 odd hooks out, 20 I think it was, and um, now we're just going to let it go out a little bit further. So it's all just set and locked off now. I'm not sure how far it went out, went for a good sort of 20 minutes. And now we're just going to sit and wait for like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. And wind it in, hopefully have some fish. Okay, so it's been about 35 minutes. Steve's keen to uh, bring it in. Yeah, boy. I'm trying to uh, get him to hold on for another 5-10 minutes, yep. but he's too keen. Come so on. we'll bring it in and see if we've got anything uh, hooked up. Got a few fish there. Well, that was a bit of fun. Sitting the Kontiki. 
the uh, second set we couldn't really get out one of the batteries died so we just really got that one set we got three fish in that so yeah bit of fun start our little um, far north adventure off so hopefully it only gets better from here and we'll have another shot um, maybe off Puweke or something like that out the front heard that the uh, there's a bit more fish out that way so pipelines Thanks for watching another great day out fishing with Real Kiwi Fishing. And you can also find more of my movies on my YouTube channel, Real Kiwi Fishing.